The river of terror has many tributaries, and there are kids that you're going to find that come from very privileged families that are only doing it to, to see if they can do it. But, you know, the real problems are going to be, are going to stem from cultures that have a tremendous amount of cultural despair. You mentioned the video footage that went around the world after the U.S. invasion began of Iraq mm -hmm. in 2003 of a family, an Iraqi family. Describe why that bit of video was so poignant. Well, there were two narratives, you know, going into the Iraq war. One was the American narrative, it's exemplified by Fox News, which is that this is a liberation of Iraq. I, I watched the war in Saudi Arabia on Fox and Al Jazeera, so I was able to contrast these two narratives. The other was the Arab perspective exemplified by Al Jazeera, which is America's humiliation of the Arabs. And so on Fox you'd see jubilant people dancing in the streets. And uh, on Al Jazeera you'd see surrendering troops with their hands behind their heads. And this one clip of the American soldiers evacuating a home and uh, it was used as a demonstration by an American general on television saying how what a wonderful job they were doing but he seemed to not acknowledge at all the fright in this little girl's face he thought her, 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 her face was just about to explode in tears and, and their families made to kneel in front of these soldiers well that became an icon on Al Jazeera, it was repeated again and again.